Lisa directed the introductions and product changes of all of the Juice Plus products and was able to focus more on bringing the story of the Juice Plus growers to the forefront through the Farm Fresh Nutrition Program. I'm sure all of you have seen those incredible videos that the company has provided for us that really paint that good picture. But most recently, Lisa, in her role as Director of Product Innovation, has been responsible for the development of the newest member of our Juice Plus family, or second newest member, I guess, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Juice Plus Omega Blend. So without further ado, Lisa, I am just going to hand it over to you to just give us all of your wisdom. Thank you so much. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for having me on the call today always an honor to speak to you all and I do love sharing my passion for our products and in particular our newer products so I'm going to go ahead and apologize for my appearance I was saying to some of the people who were on a little earlier I actually did a two workout today and um, didn't think you guys would mind if I didn't like put full makeup back on to get <laughs> to get on the call so um, Definitely had my shake today. It was definitely a shake day. So I'm going to share my screen and uh, take you guys through a little bit of a presentation around perform. Um, but really what I want to do is just make sure that you guys have a great understanding of the product, uh, why we love it so much. And then you, if you have any questions, you can definitely ask them in the chat. And I know somebody will probably uh, be keeping track of those and I'll be able to answer either live at the end if we have time or if there, um, if there are specific questions that we want to answer that I don't get to, I can certainly do those through email or uh, with your team leaders at a later time. So without further ado, let me share my screen and then start it. Can you guys see my screen? Good, good. All right. So let's get started. Really, at Juice Plus, obviously, most of you, I'm sure, are very familiar with kind of our ethos, which is healthy living and making healthier living easier. And at Juice Plus, we definitely want to support our supporters on their on journey. And that means that we want to have, you know, a range of products. So as we were looking at our product line and as we were kind of walking through the experience of a customer, one of the things that we really realized is that there was a gap in what we offered. And that gap is really in that kind of high protein shake area. We have our wonderful Complete, which is a great product. It's got 13 grams of protein, it's got seven grams of fiber, kind of a great, what I would consider all around nutritional shake mix, great for any day, anybody at any time. But we really wanted to find something that was a little bit more focused, something that people would be interested in trying new or would meet them where they are today. And really, that starts with this kind of area. What we're looking to do is find people who are working out and more and more people are paying attention to their health and wellness. And in many cases, that's turning to functional food and beverages to really help them with that. And it says here, 9% of people are demand plant-based products, but that, that's actually 9% growth is in, is in that area. And really what that means is that this is an area of high growth. This is some place where more and more people are going to be looking for uh, things to meet their needs that are also plant-based. And we felt like we really could kind of nail this product well. So without further ado, let me tell you a little bit more about what this product is. So what we like to say is this is a tailor-made product that's built for performance. And it really is something that is great for really wherever you are on your fitness journey, but definitely kind of in that fitness category. So it really is built, purpose built to enhance your ability to work out, recover, and be able to go at it again the next day. And the reasons for that are because we have 25 grams of a plant-based proteins that support the building of muscles and bones. We also have naturally occurring B vitamins from guava, mango, and lemon that help support the energy that you need when you're working out. And then, like I said, there's a lot of ingredients in here that are really focused differently than a lot of other protein drinks. Two of those ingredients, beetroot and tart cherry, have been studied a number of different 
uh, times for their ability to help your body recover after a workout, recover faster. And kind of the keys for our product are the same as, as for all of our products. We're plant-based, we're made without GMO ingredients, gluten-free, and all the things that you would come to expect from Juice Plus products. But one of the things that we think are, we're doing differently and better than the other competitors out there is that this really is more than just a protein shake. This is 25 grams of amazing plant-based protein, but also, and I love to feel like I'm, you know, that infomercial guy, but wait, there's more. Uh, it does have those naturally occurring B vitamins. So rather than getting vitamins from synthetic sources or from, you know, something else like corn-derived sources, we're getting our B vitamins from guava, mango, and lemon. So they're more um, naturally occurring. They're more, they contain more of those, co those co nutrients that your body really utilizes. We also have those functional ingredients in the tart cherry and the beetroot that really play a different role than any other protein shake out there. I have not seen any protein shake that provides those types of ingredients. But the big reason for this product, the main ingredient, of course, is that 25 grams of plant-based protein. And because we use high quality water washed soy protein, you are getting all nine essential amino acids that your body needs and it is highly digestible. So a lot of people don't realize that soy is the only complete vegan protein. It means that it is, it can naturally contains all nine of the essential amino acids and it's highly digestible. There's something called a PD cast and that's the protein digestibility corrected amino acids, uh, amino acid score. You don't have to know what it is, but essentially that's the measure of the quality of protein after you ingest it. So it's the measure of how good your body uses the protein. Most proteins in the, in the animal category are, uh, are around one or anywhere from nine point or 0.9 to 1.0. 1.0 is considered perfect. And our soy protein actually has a score of 1.0. It's the only protein source from vegetables, from the only vegan protein source that has a score, a PDCAS score of 1.0. And that's because it is the only one that contains all of the essential amino acids. There are other proteins out there that may contain some of the amino acids, but not any that contain all of them in the amounts that you need to use and none that is more digestible than soy protein. So again, I've talked a lot about why we think that from the scientific perspective, the soy protein is so important, but let's talk about it from a different perspective at all as well. So as we mentioned, soy contains all of those nine essential amino acids, which means that your body can use all of those amino acids effectively. And I'll talk about that a little bit in a second as well. What that means beyond just protein and bones and muscles, because it's all digestible, it is more nutrient, more nutrients can get absorbed into your body. But interestingly, consumers still rate soy as the best plant-based protein, which is really interesting because I know a lot of people, you know, have concerns about soy, but the facts are that people still rate it as the highest rated vegan protein. And really what it boils down to is that it is safe for men, for women, for children. It is safe for everybody. There are hundreds of clinical studies that prove the safety and the benefits of soy protein. And we even have a clinical study that used are complete, which contains soy protein in a group of people that are challenged. So it was in, it was actually done by MD Anderson Cancer Research Center, and it was done in a group of ovarian cancer survivors. And if there were any question about soy's safety, when it comes to uh, a challenged group like that, a group of people who have had hormone-based cancers, 
then we wouldn't have been able to use the soy protein in the first place. And secondly, when we did use the soy protein, not only did that group have better protein uh, status in their blood, but they actually performed just as good in all markers. And there were no issues. There were no negative side effects. There were no increased of, uh, future diseases based on any of that. So it, it really is safe for everybody. And the last one is that soy protein is actually proven to build muscle. So there are a lot of clinical studies that compare vegan proteins to plant-based proteins. And in all of those, soy protein ranks just as high as any of the animal proteins in its ability to build muscle. So that really helps to understand why we want to use the soy protein in this. It's the best vegan protein source available. And beyond that, we make sure that the soy protein that we're using is even cleaner than anything else that's available. So we use the water wash process to enhance the protein content. And that really just that there are no contaminants, no residual solvents in the, in the finished product. It's also made without GMO ingredients. So we make sure that none of the soy that goes into our products is GMO. We actually work with farmers, with family farmers on our soy and have for many, many years. And the farms that we choose to work with have never ever plant GMO crops in their fields. And to us, that's really important. But it's beyond that, we also work with companies that have what's called a responsible soybean standard program. And this is a program that really is state of the art and looks at not just making sure that the, the, the soy protein is of high quality, but we're talking, or the soybeans are of high quality, but we're talking about a program that also looks at sustainability and inclusion in the soy industry. So it's making sure that the people who are farming the fields are safe and taken care of. It also looks at making sure that the land is being uh, left in a better state today than it was yesterday. And to us, that's very important. So let's go back to the overall product to perform. Really, we feel like this is five kind of building blocks to elevate your fitness performance. It's that muscle growth, it's that muscle recovery, it's the energy production, it's the mental performance. And really, I haven't talked about it much, but this product also contains um, a couple of great vitamins from natural sources. So it contains vitamin D from mushroom powder. And many people actually don't realize that mushrooms synthesize UV rays very similarly to how we do as humans. So they take those UV rays and they can, can, they can make vitamin D from UV from the sunlight. So what we do is we make sure that we're exposing the mushrooms to sunlight to ensure a standard level of vitamin D in that product. We also have vitamin C, which hasn't been uh, talked about yet here, but and I'm going to go back for just a second. But one of the really cool things about vitamin C in this product, and we get our vitamin C here from acerola cherry which is naturally high in vitamin C. But one of the coolest things, in my opinion, is that vitamin C combined with the amino acids from that soy protein actually encourage your body to make collagen, which is something that people don't actually think about in a, in a lot of ways. How does your body actually make collagen? So if you're out there and you're drinking a collagen drink or if you're taking collagen powder or something like that, what your body sees the collagen as is protein. So your body breaks the collagen down into the amino acid components and then uses those amino acid components however it decides it wants to use them. The exact same way as your body breaks down protein from, for example, soy and uses those amino acids however your body wants to. Now, you take the amino acids, you combine them with vitamin C, and a couple of other nutrients that are naturally occurring within her form. And it actually encourages your body to produce more collagen. 
So if you're just taking a collagen beverage, but you're not combining it with vitamin C, then you're really not getting the benefits of the collagen at all. If you're taking Perform, which already has vitamin C in it, then it's going to encourage your body to produce, vita- to produce the collagen naturally, and you get those amazing benefits. So there's a lot of amazing science that goes on behind the scenes with Perform or with any of our products, really. Uh, but that's one I don't think a lot of people really uh, know too much about. So again, easiest way to take Perform. I know there's a lot of questions that we've gotten so far about the scoops. And let me just give you a little bit of background. So the scoop size for this is actually a different size scoop than you get in complete. It's a little bit smaller. And this, how, but you use two scoops instead of one scoop. So the serving size is a little bigger. The scoop is a little smaller but you use two scoops. And what people don't realize is that a scoop is not a measure of weight. A scoop is a measure of volume. And the volume, the weight in that volume is dependent on the density of the product itself, which means that the perform, because it has more soy protein, is less dense, which means it's fluffier than the complete, which has more fiber, which is more dense. So you need more volume to get the same amount of mass. So our serving size is by mass or by weight. But the easiest way to measure that is not to ask everybody to get out their kitchen scale and tear it out, you know, zero it out and then measure exactly 40 grams. The easiest way is to get the scoops. But I do want, oh, that's not the way of measuring anything. So if you want the most accurate way, do get your kitchen scale out and you can measure it yourself. And through shipping, sometimes there does get some kind of compaction. So it might not be quite as dense as as it was. So it's always a good idea, especially on the first time to scoop it out, see how many two, how much two scoops is for you. And you can kind of adjust from there. But That's the best that we've done. We're actually going to do a video on scooping the perform and the complete here in just a couple of weeks when we're back in the offices. So we can kind of show everybody exactly how we scoop it and we'll show measurements that we get when we do. So anyway, mix it with 10 ounces of water and then shake it like you mean it. It's super easy. It's meant to be mixed with really anything. Um, My personal preference, I do like it with cold water, uh, but I actually like it even better when I mix it unsweetened coconut milk is my absolute favorite way to, sh- to take the product. Um, I love, I do love making ice cream with it. So I use my unsweetened coconut milk. I blend it with some berries, um, sometimes even melon. I don't know if anybody's ever tried this, but um, cantaloupe with coconut milk and perform probably my favorite. I know it sounds really weird. Probably my favorite ice cream kind of tastes like a sorbet, really yummy. Definitely a treat at the end of the day after a hard workout. It's good to kind of uh, eat a little bit of that. But there's a lot of different things. We'll probably be putting a bunch of different recipes out there. I love that Heidi's going to share her recipe for ice cream as well. Um, I do find that ice cream with kind of either complete or it's fairly easy to do. So it's not too hard. And we like to say take it, you know, kind of some your workout. If I'm doing a two workout day, I took my perform after my first workout and before my second workout. So my second workout was my really high intensity workout. My first workout was my kind of what I would call a warm up. I did a two mile walk and then kickboxing. So I took my perform in the middle there uh, because for me, that's what works the best. I don't like eating a lot before I go and work out, but my kickboxing class is at five or six o'clock at night. And I need something after lunch to kind of keep me going. So that's kind of what works really well for me is to kind of take it right before my heavy workout. Um, Also take it right after. Sometimes if I don't take it before, I'll I'll use the perform as my dinner after after my heavy workout. Or I'll use uh, perform as my ice cream snack after like a salad. I'll have my perform ice cream snack at the end of the day and Man, I love it. So I hope you guys uh, find some great ways to use it as well. So let's talk a little bit about the competition as well, because one of the things that we always like to do is kind of look at how does Juice Plus compare to other things that you might find on the market? 
inevitably, in our opinion at least, we stack up way better than everything else on the market. Otherwise, I definitely would not be putting these products out there. But for you guys, you know, kind of looking at these are actual shapes. We don't put the names of the shapes out there because we, to be honest, are not trying to shame any other companies. But this gives you a good kind of understanding of generally what you'll find on the market. So if you look at what products are whole food based, that's something that not a lot of products will say that they have only whole food ingredients in their products. So a lot of them may have, you know, whole food proteins or something like that, but then they'll add synthetic vitamins or they'll add something else to the product that isn't whole food based, doesn't come from plants. So for us, it's all from plants. We also think that we are a step above here because we contain, we have those B vitamins. And by the way, you can see in the shakes that have B vitamins, they really aren't whole food based. So the ones that contain the B vitamins, the one that contains the B vitamins is really not a, a whole food based um, product. So it means that they're using synthetic B vitamins instead of natural B vitamins. All of the products that we looked at were high in protein because that's what we were looking at. We were comparing high protein shakes to each other. So obviously all of them are high protein, but the, we are the only one that contains functional ingredients that support recovery. And again, those ingredients are tart cherry and beetroot. And we also think that if you're working out, especially if you are um, of a certain age, uh, <laughs> honestly, either young or kind of approaching middle age, bone health is incredibly important. And as you start to kind of work into middle age, your body naturally is harder to produce muscle and your bones start to kind of deteriorate. And I can talk to you guys specifically about the mechanism of why your bones um, start to kind of uh, deteriorate. It's actually fascinating. I love looking at that. But the vitamin D here is incredibly important to help your body maintain that bone regrowth, to help maintain that own health um, so that you aren't, so that you can work out a little harder. So you can push yourself maybe just a little bit more. Uh, but again, I don't want to say that this is just for people who are working out like I do, or people who are working out super heavily. What we're really looking for here is what we're saying, the moderately active person. So somebody who's working out one to three times a week, uh, really or four to five times a week, somewhere in that kind of range. We're calling that the everyday performer. And really, that should be most of us. Most of us should be um, working out. That's the best information that people have is that people who are working out, you know, three to five times a week are overall living longer, healthier lives. There's also a lot of other residual benefits to working out for mental health, for stress relief, for things like that. So overall, you know, doing something, some kind of workout, but it doesn't really matter. You can run, you can do go on walks, you can do, you know, yoga or Pilates, you can go to kickboxing, you can do step aerobics, you can do circuit training, anything. It's not specific to any particular um, activity. Perform is really beneficial for all of them. I know that there's been a couple of uh, kind of testimonials that you may have seen already on perform and some of them are, are amazing. I know we have one, uh, one person who I love dearly and she is a, a CrossFit person and she loves perform. It helps her in her CrossFit gym. She's, you know, she's been able to kind of level up a little bit in CrossFit. And then another girl that I love as well, she runs up 13,000 foot mountains. And she said that she actually had, I love her story, um, which is just exactly what I would have probably done. So she was running up a 13,000 foot mountain with her husband and she only had one sample of perform left and she gave it to her husband and she was mad but she said he was fine the next day and she couldn't walk because she just that recovery. It's amazing how much it really helps you with that recovery. So um, she said she wouldn't do it the same way if she had to do it again. She would definitely take it herself, <laughs> even though she loves her husband. Um, but there's, there's also, I, you know, I work with Sasha Lehman, who is very into yoga and, and she is, you know, she's using it to help her kind of push through some yoga poses and stuff like that. I think everyone can use it in different ways. So it really is for that kind of everyday performer. 
And it does fit really nicely into our overall family of shakes. So I talked a little bit earlier about the complete shake, which we really feel like I call it the everyday for everybody shake. It's really can be for anything. And again, you talk about recipes that you can use um, with complete. There are some amazing recipes out there um, for all kinds of things to use complete to add more plant-based nutrition into your diet every day, every age, every Every person can uh, certainly benefit from adding some more nutrients from plants into your diet. And then perform, from my, from my perspective, I use the complete shakes for breakfast most mornings. So I'll take a shake, have it for breakfast, but I still use my perform shake on the days that I'm work, doing two workouts a day. I don't use perform every day. Um, I use it probably four times a week, four or five times a week. But I use complete pretty much every day because to me, that's kind of my base. So I think of it like a base and an add-on. You know, you want added nutrition from Perform. It definitely helps you level up and completes that kind of great base for everything. It doesn't matter what you're doing or where you are. Adding more plants into your diet is always going to be a benefit. So that's kind of how I see how it all plays and I know that there are probably a ton of additional questions, uh, but I hope that that gave you guys a good kind of basic understanding of the products. And um, and I am, I think, going to stop sharing, maybe, if I can figure out how to do it right now. There we go. <laughs> so hopefully that helped you guys. And I don't know if there are, um, Heidi, are there questions, Heidi or Sandy, questions that I can answer? Uh, we do have a couple, but first, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Your passion, your excitement, and your knowledge about not just perform and the ingredients, but where the ingredients came from, the soil, the farmers, is this is just so amazing. So I, I just want to say thank you, and I can't wait to share this video with others. Uh, so a couple of questions that I jotted down from the chat, and then... Um, uh, we are at 6.30, but maybe if I don't get them, if there's one burning one, then let us know. But um, aside from performance, benefits for non-athletes, I think you kind of covered that. Um, is there anything else you want to say ab about that? Why someone who's not an athlete might want to use the perform? Absolutely. So my parents are not, you know, actively working out. My parents are in their 80s. Um, and one of the things that I have noticed as I've watched them kind of age a little bit is that, uh, first of all, they, it, as you age, it's more important than ever to get enough protein so that you can maintain muscle uh, because muscle starts to deteriorate very quickly. And protein is the best way that you can, uh, protein obviously in some weight bearing exercise, continuing to move and stuff is, is the most important thing for, uh, for as you get older. And um, I noticed that, you know, they just don't eat as much as they used to, and they don't eat as much protein as they used to. And so for me, I've given them a form because they will drink a shake every morning. So they make a shake every morning. And for me, that helps, it helps me to feel better about the fact that I know at least they're getting 25 grams of protein in that shake every single morning. And so for anybody who's in that category, who have parents in that category, you know, I think that it's very important um, for that. And there's also a lot of people who are on, you know, restrictive diets where they're trying to um, increase their protein and or watch their carbohydrate intake. And one of the things that's great about Perform is it's only got six grams of total sugar, and only four grams of added sugar. We do want to make it taste good and we do only use natural ingredients. So um, there is some sugar in there, but it's a very amount considering the 25 grams of protein. So even people on diet keto or, um, or some of those other diets um, could use this product as well, probably a little better than they could use um, the complete because it does have some great fiber, but um, some of those people are not looking for fiber in their diet right then. So those are in just two off the top of my head, but certainly there's a lot of other ways that you could use uh, perform you know, without, um, without exercise and using it as a, as a performance enhancing product. Right. Well, thank you. And I think you answered the next one. It was just about the glycemic index, 
we know that because of the fiber, the glycemic, even though there's more carbs in the complete, the glycemic index is equal to like broccoli. And, but we don't know like what the equivalent is in the perform. Uh, we haven't, we haven't completed that test. That's a very lengthy test. Um, and you actually have to send product to Australia and shipping has been a nightmare. Um, so we haven't gotten the glycemic index um, back, the glycemic load tests back yet. But we expect that it would be even lower than complete because it contains about uh, half the amount of sugar as complete and, um, and again, more protein. So this, the glycemic load, the glycemic index is that combination of protein, fiber, sugar that kind of uh, works in your body. Great. Thank you so much. I don't see any other burning questions in the chat. So um, I want everyone to, in a sec, take yourself off mute and tell Lisa thank you. First, I just want to say, be sure to look for this. We will post this. Carrie will post it on the Heat Team page as soon as it's all processed because you're going to want to share this with people. Thank you so much, Lisa. Okay, go ahead, everyone, and take yourself Thank off. You, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. So Lisa. appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Lisa. Recording stopped. Great night, everyone. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for watching. Reach out to me with any question. Um, leave a comment. Send me an inbox. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you all for watching. Leave a comment, send me an email.